If you're still doing bridges just for glutes, check out this video because I'm going to help you take your bridge game to a whole new level. Hi there, Coach Tanya with Critical Bench and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk all about bridges. But before I show you how to take your bridge game to a whole new level, I want you to check out that pinned comment below for the Unlock Your Glutes program. This is a fantastic program if you really do want to do a lot more work, strengthening your glutes, your hammies, targeting some, you know, some of those deep intrin intrinsic core muscles just to really increase overall strength. So check out that pinned comment below. Okay, so for this video, um, I'm going to be showing you four different bridges and we're gonna go beyond your standard bridge. Now bridges are great for increasing uh, strength in your glutes, your hamstrings, basically lower body core muscles. It really does hit a lot of areas. But bridges are more than just glutes, as I've just mentioned. So they really can target those deep intrinsic core muscles. They can help alleviate back pain. They can help improve your posture. And they just overall help strengthen that whole posterior chain. So if you're still doing a traditional body weight um, bridge as part of your lower body program, that's great. But let's take that to a whole new level. I'm gonna show you four different variations of the bridge to really up your bridge game to really really hit and target some of these other muscle groups just for greater overall strength and greater overall wellness. Now we're going to start with the basic body weight bridge which is probably what a lot of you are already doing. So on the floor, I'm not going to move my mic pack. Okay. Now you can, with the traditional body weight bridge, foot placement does make a difference. You might want to start with legs closer together, wider apart, toes out. It just sort of targets a little more um, different areas in your lower body. But I'm just going to go with the traditional feet about hips distance apart. Come up and squeeze. If you're just coming up, you're really, all you're doing is just sort of resting body weight on your shoulders and your upper back. You're not really getting much from the exercise. The key is to come up and squeeze and hold and then lower and come up again, squeeze and hold and lower. Now one way we can up our game here is to add, I call them frog pumps or knee in and outs. So coming up, knee in and out for like three to five and lower. All right, now for any of you that have these at home mini bands, I love incorporating mini bands into a lot of body weight movements because they do up our game a bit. So what you want to do is, I guess I should have set up first, <laughs> put the mini band around your legs just above your knees. And let's go back to just that basic bridge lift. So lift and squeeze and lower. Lift and squeeze, you want to keep tension on that band. So we're kind of pushing the knees out, but not so out that we're now we're, we've got really bad bridge posture, okay? So a nice tight core, squeezing those glutes, pressure on the band, and lower. Now we can still do this with the knee in and outs. Now when we start, we've got that squeeze, we've got the pressure. So it's just a, a, it's a smaller movement though, because really we're kind of pulsing more than a direct in and out. We want to keep that tension on the band. So again, for three to five, I don't know how many I've done, but I can feel it burning and lower. So that is the first bridge. So the next bridge I wanna show you is a marching bridge, or I call it a marching bridge. So we're going back to that starting position. And when we come up and squeeze, now what we're gonna do is march. So lift one leg up and the other. So like you're marching in this position. You've really got to keep that core tight so we are hitting those really deep intrinsic core muscles and just march. Now for those, I'm going to suggest around five. Do five, come back down, quick breath, up, five more. Four. Okay, just like that and lower. So incorporating those a couple times into your lower body workout, after three to four sets, you are really gonna feel that burn. Now we can also bring the mini band into this one as well. So I'm gonna put this back on. So when you start to find that just um, basic body weight bridges, you're not getting that same burn, you're not feeling that same intensity with the exercise, 
That's when we need to start incorporating other things like dumbbells or kettlebells or mini bands to, to give us more uh, resistance, okay, in the training. Okay, so marching with the bands, it's just like what we did. Come up, squeeze those glutes, tight core, lift up, and again. And you don't have to lift your leg high. The height of how, the height um, to which you're raising your leg really isn't going to make this better or worse. We've got that tension in the band giving us resistance. And you should start to feel that right about now. <laughs> The next bridge I have for you is a single leg bridge hold. Again, we're starting in that same position. <sighs> and we're gonna take one foot off the floor. Again, people get, can sometimes get cut up with, should my leg be out straight, should it be up straight, just off the floor, okay? Get a lift and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come down, change legs. Five, four, three, two, one one and lower now let's take our mini band and do the same thing <laughs> it usually goes on a lot more easily <laughs> okay so like off and up now that tension's there too five four three two one down Tension, five, four, three, two, one. And that's how you do it with the mini band. Now, one other thing that you may wanna do, again, if you're finding that you enjoy the exercise and it feels good, but you're just not getting that, that intensity that you want, okay? A couple things about that, great. It means you're getting stronger, so you're building some more muscle, which is awesome. Um, but again, to continue building that muscle, um, building the lean muscle, which increases your body, um, your metabolism to help you burn body fat, you have to you know, increase volume and intensity. So one of the things we can do is bring in a dumbbell. So you can do that same movement, just balancing the dumbbell on the, here we go, supporting leg side, and hold five, four, three, two, one, coming down, same thing on the other side, and five, four, three, two, one. So again, you wanna do about five to eight of those in your set. You wanna hold that count for about five. As far as should you alternate, should you do one leg at a time, that's a personal preference. I myself, I like to do, I call it loading. I really like to load one side. So I really like to feel like that one glute is really on fire and burning and then switching. I just prefer it, it feels better. It's how I've done it for a long time. But if you prefer doing one leg and then the other back and forth, it's not wrong. So you gotta find your fit, you gotta find your groove. You gotta increase that volume and intensity and you're just gonna keep upping your bridge game and building great glutes. So one more last bridge that I wanna show you is one of my favorites. Now you're gonna need, I'm gonna use the bench here. Um, if you don't have a bench, you can use a chair, you can use a table, you can use a step. Anything that's just gonna raise your feet off the floor. Now, obviously with the bench being this high, my feet are gonna be this high off the floor. It's not imperative that you find something that is exactly this high. Just find whatever you have that's solid and sturdy that you can put your feet on to do this glute bridge. So, we're gonna get our feet up here. So now we're gonna have to lift to a whole, a little bit higher of a level, okay? Now remember, coming up, it's not just lifting off the floor and just using our upper back to support us. Squeeze those glutes, keep that core tight, and hold. So up and hold for five, four, three, two, one. And come down, and again, five, four, three, two, one. Now, again, you wanna do at least eight of those in your set. You can do that with the mini bands around your knees. So same thing with the mini bands on your knees, having that pressure or um, allowing for that resistance, lift and hold for the same count of five. I'm gonna bring in the dumbbell and I'm gonna hold it just on my lower pelvis here and lift and hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
and come down and lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you don't have a dumbbell, not a problem. Find something of weight. You might have a medicine ball, you might not. Maybe you've got um, a big water jug. Maybe you've got a toddler. <laughs> Lord knows, I've done that. I have three kids and um, at multiple times in my life they have become the weights that I use to do certain movements. So just something that, I mean, if they're a really squirmy toddler, I don't recommend it. But if they're cooperative, you know, sometimes um, a carrot stick is, uh, they can sit there and have a snack while you're doing glute bridges, okay? <laughs> so don't get too caught up in what equipment you have or don't have. Find what you do have that's safe, that's stable, that's sturdy, that adds a little extra weight. Mini bands are very easy and cheap to find. And you can incorporate these into those lower body movements, those bridges, just to go from standard body weight, traditional bridges, to bridges that require a little more effort on your part. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I hope that helps, uh, especially for those of you that are still doing the traditional standard bridges, glute bridges, which is great. I'm not saying take them out, but if you want to you know, bring in some other things to up your bridge game and to just keep building that strength, working on those deep core muscles, helping with lower back pain, helping to improve your posture, just strengthening that posterior chain, start including some of these into those lower body workout days um, that you're doing that. I'm Coach Tom. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that notification bell and subscription button so you never miss any of our great content. And before you go, if you want more fantastic, amazing, outstanding glute exercises, check out that pinned comment for the Unlock Your Glutes program. Boom. That's all I can say. Boom. It's that good. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.